Hello everyone and welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host Kevin Kelly and today we're going to be talking about how to highlight certain rows with conditional formatting based on a set of criteria. With that being said, let's get right into it. So here you can see I have a table with an order number, customer ID, name, the amount of the order, and the status. Uh, basically we just want to highlight um, an entire row based on the status and the status that we're going to base this off of is pending. So all of the orders that are pending we want to highlight those entire rows. So the way that we're going to do this is very simple. It's with conditional formatting. And you want to highlight the entire table to start. Remember, don't just highlight from the bottom from uh, after the first names of each column because those are actually really, really important. And I'll talk about that in a second. So highlight the entire table, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, then go to more rules. So there's, they give you kind of a, a general format of different things that you can do with conditional formatting. But in this case, we're just going to use a formula to determine which cells we need, want to format. And the formula that we're going to use is equal number sign F4. So the number sign or, uh, yeah, the dollar sign is uh, very important uh, because it anchors us and it makes sure that um, F4, that column, is the one that we're basing this criteria off of. And then we hit equals pending in quotation marks. So uh, pending is just the status of the order, and we put in the quotation marks so Excel knows that's what we want to highlight. Those are the rows we want to highlight are the ones with pending in them. So then you just go to Format, and then if you're on Number, just go over to Fill, and then we're just going to do this green color, and then hit OK. So as you can see, and I can zoom in a little bit here for you, we highlighted each row that contained the status of pending, and there were three rows uh, that fit that criteria. And what's really nice about conditional formatting is that you can use a variety of different formulas to fit your specific needs. Um, so using the input formula is a great tool. Just always make sure you're anchoring when you're referring to a certain column that has a, a criteria that you're trying to highlight. Um, and a lot of times with conditional formatting, it might be confusing to look at the certain sets they have. That's also a good reason to use the formulas. Uh, just as you practice it, it'll get a lot easier. Uh, in terms of what you want to do and how you want to evaluate tables based on the criteria that you're looking at. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video and we hope you tune in, tune in again next time. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.